Today's Friday. Um, I look like shit. I feel like shit. I've had a shit week. This module is set out so bloody stupid. Say hello. So we're just chilling in the rain. I know. Are you stressed as well? I feel like I'm in like uncharted territory at the moment. You know, I've never had to deal with self-harm before. I've never had to deal with genuinely planning to end my own life. For now, it's just keeping myself safe and Unfortunately, university kind of has to take a bit of a back seat. You know, I, I could finish my course now, but I might not be around for graduation. I've got deadlines, I've got a presentation next week. It's just like all too much. Like today I was struggling so much, I was watching people's presentations because they were so good, like I just couldn't focus, like my brain was just not allowing me to process. Like and I've got an exam coming up, do not do well in exams. Is any of this going in? Pen. Is any of this going in? I can't, but it's just not. I'm having a meltdown. I'm very positive today, which is not, not like me, so. So, I'm walking to work. I'm hella fucking depressed right now. Like, I actually put someone's head through a wall. Now I've got to go and sit in a, a fucking desk for four hours. I'm just, oh, fucking hell. Oh, there's someone behind me, so I look like a fucking moron walking around my fucking house. Someone else over there, they're gonna look at me like I'm fucking crazy. So, just quickly, I'm like really, really, really happy because I've just got another first on my uni assignment. So, I'm like really proud of myself because it's a lot of hard work and it's put me in a really good mood while I'm at work. It makes me more positive to do, to do the other four assignments that I've got to do in the next three weeks. <laughs> this is really hard to film this, but I promise I'd be honest. <laughs> I'm just so fucking broken, like I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I'm really fucking hurting. And I'm like so alone. <laughs> no, no one listens, like, no one checks up on me. No one tries, like. I've literally been there's so many signs about how bad I've been struggling and I want to stop shit. I just, I just don't, I just hate this. I just don't, I just don't want to. I just wish I could just fuck off for a while and just, just not do it, just not.
you know, I'm glad my overdose failed. I'm, I'm glad I'm here, I'm alive, I'm well. I'm glad I'm getting help from professionals, my family, my friends and everyone around me. Hello. You all right? I'm good, thanks. I've missed you. Of course I got the bus. Hi. Hello, You're right. Hello, you. I missed you. Hello. Oh, you're fucking crazy. Those cakes look nice. Oh, Prosecco. People always say like, oh, it's the best years of your life, blah, like, I'm so much fun, pipe, pipe, pipe. But then they don't mention like the social pressure as a pressure to join teams and be part of things. And you've got like your work pressure and then your living arrangements and then your student loan and balancing money and finding a job. And it's just like so difficult. Sometimes you just need to let someone else care for you, um, you know, instead of struggling. That's not funny. Like, this has been like just the most intense year, um, but amazing year, and I've learned so much about others, myself, and especially about reaching out for help when I need it, um, and knowing when I need to get help, but also being strong for myself. I'm so excited for next year, like I can't wait, I'm going to move into my house, like I'm just, it's going to be amazing, um, like I love my course, I love my friends, I love the area, I just, I can't wait. I got a letter through the post today, uh, confirming my extension uh, for my degree. Everyone else is obviously getting their results. I don't really know how I'm gonna deal with everyone like graduating and wearing their gowns and everyone's getting fitted for those hat things and oh it's a shame. Those one times that I bounded my dissertation, oh, those are the good old days, eh? I'm getting support. Um, and I'm glad that I still persevered with believing that I was worth help. Uh, I was on my way to um, a hospital appointment and I found a man uh, lying on the floor it basically turned out that uh, he'd tried to commit suicide. It was hard to see the amount of pain that he was in because I've been there. It was a shock and it was hard. I told him that he needs to let people help him. It made me think that, that his life was valuable and that that wasn't the answer for him. And it made me realise that it wasn't the answer for me either. And I'm glad that I'm still here. It's so important to talk to people because help is out there.